Ta-da! And what's that then? That is a puzzle. Right, okay. <laughs> it's a cling film. Right. It's a hydrogen peroxide. Right. And it's a UV lamp. Ah, are you going to do your hair? No. Oh. Huh. And I'm not going to whiten my teeth. And I'm not doing my nail varnish either. Oh, okay. Well, I'll give up then. What are you doing? I'm cleaning the fridge. You don't mean to clean the fridge? Yeah. Cleaning the fridge with hydrogen peroxide. Yes. Won't that, won't that go sort of uh, yeah, all weird? Some... So inside the fridge, over years, all the discolorations happened around the side. It's on the runners. It's in the floor of the fridge. It's all nasty bits. You don't know how much you clean it. They don't come off. So what I'm going to do is use the hydrogen peroxide to clean up and make it white again. Yes. Right. Hydrogen peroxide in the fridge. I'll just pour in a little bit. This is a thick one, it's the cream one. I got it off of Amazon, it's for ha hairdressing and it's 12%. Um, so put it in the base of the fridge, get the paintbrush, put the hydrogen peroxide onto all the stained areas. Mainly it's on the runners and in the floor. It's where they've had spillages, I think, over the years. Things have spilled into the fridge. So that's all spread about. It's a good bit in there. Make sure I've got plenty in the runners area. There we go. Bit there. So that's all nice and wet, like that. All spread up. Oh, a little bit on the edge, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that on this one because of the um, when the door is shut, the light won't catch it. So that's my paintbrush. Now this is the next trick: cover it with cling film. And you do that because what it does is it stops the hydrogen peroxide from evaporating. So we get some cling film and we stick it on all the areas where we've spread the peroxide like that easy to do because it does just stick to li liquid it doesn't mind at all and it sticks to itself so that's quite good so i put some now you're not trying to make it look pretty or anything you're not making it airtight just put it on like that and a bit on the base don't get hydrogen peroxide on your hands or on your clothes though because it might bleach them out even though this one's designed to go on your hair. Oh yeah, don't get it on your hair, eh, Petey? No. <laughs> that would be funny. So that's that done. So that's the hydrogen peroxide and the cling film. Next job now is the UV light. That's the magic part. Because it will work without the UV light, just letting daylight in. But the UV light makes it work quicker. So plug that in. This is a UV light, black light, uh, powered by USB port. Switch it on. That's your black light. Put it in the fridge, hang it in the door, like that. Shut the door. Come back tomorrow. Job done. That's it, is it? That's it. Oh, that's good. So that's a start. I'm doing the fridge because if anything goes disastrously wrong, it's in the fridge and nobody will see it. Oh, if okay. that's successful, I'm going to do the other discoloured plastics around the van. Oh, good. All right. Job done. Come back later and see what it looks like. Last night, I put another coat of um, hydrogen peroxide on the inside of the fridge, covered it up with a cling film and put the UV light on. And this morning, I've come back to see how we get on and to clean it up. Ah, there's my UV lights. There's all the inside of the fridge, all clink filmed. Right, let's get rid of the lights. They're quite warm. Um, not hot, hot, but just warm. Let's put them up there. Oh, let's have a look here. Now, you have to be careful with hydrogen peroxide because it's quite burny. There's Oh, 
I see. That's faded quite a bit. That was a really strong mark there. And a really strong mark there. That's faded a bit. That's only been done the once, that bit. Now, in here, these have been done twice. Let's have a look. Oh, that's much better. These were really yellow inside. Um, especially the floor. It looked like something really nasty had been spilt on the floor. So I'll just give it a clean up now and see what we're left with. I'm not sure how well the staining is showing up right now. I've got a little bit of staining along the edge of the door. Uh, and a tiny bit left there in one corner. That looked like a really nasty spillage. But when you think that inside of the fridge was like that times 10 before I started. Uh, I'm really, really pleased with the result. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>